Hello, and welcome to Verbling class. My name is Libby, and I'll be your teacher today. So now we're going to wait for everyone to log on, and then we'll begin class. Hello. Hello. Hi, Libby. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And how do I pronounce your name? Is it you, Yuval? It's uh, Yuval. Yuval. Okay. Nice to meet you, Yuval. You too. <laughs> Thank you. And, and Carlos, it's good to have you back. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you here again. Yes, yes, it's nice to see you guys. It's it's a good day for me to be on my computer because it's rainy and cold outside, so I'm glad to be inside. Okay. Uh, can you hear me properly, or oh, I think my microphone is okay? Um, yeah, it's perfect. It's we have time to con to check. Uh, so. It's good. Uh, no, it, we have time right now to check if our microphone is okay because we are three people no, now. Yes, yes, exactly. We will wait for everyone to uh, join the class before we begin discussing. Okay. We, I wait. Okay, good. We have more people joining the class. Um, for those of you who have joined the class, are you able to view the chat box where it says verbling, verbling classes and then there should be a a chat box? Yes, the chat, yes. The chat box, do you mean the chat box? Because uh, there, yeah, there's two chat boxes. One says chat, one says verbling classes. And oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out, uh, trying to figure out which, it, see, it seems that the ver for me the verbling classes one is not working right now. So okay. it's not functioning. Give me one minute. Oh. I'm going to. Uh, hello and welcome. To Ms. Libby. It's sometimes freezing the in the middle of the class, the verbling chat box for some reason. I noticed in the past. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's the problem that I'm having. That's okay. We can um, we can use the other chat box. That will be fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, just, I, just I have an audio problem. Then. Um, Yeah. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, that's all right. We will use the other chat box for today. Um, so the one that says chat on top, on the top left of your screen. Um, I just will. Be, I'll be posting yeah. some links during the class, so I'll need that chat box. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, you, you, yeah, right. Sufkan, I, I think I can hear you, yes. Um, okay, so we are going to uh, begin class. It seems that we have a full classroom. So first I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is, my name is Libby. I am American and I am living in France right now. I am teaching English. Uh, to French high school students. So um, I'm very excited to be here with all of you and I would like you to introduce yourselves so that I know more about you. 
And then we will get into today's lesson, which is about talking on the phone in English, which I know can be a challenging thing. It's hard to talk on the phone in a second language. So we'll go over some tips for how to talk on the phone uh, in English. So first, uh, we will introduce ourselves. So um, let's see. Let's see. How about um, Ale Alex? Are you here? Yeah. Hi. Um, hi. Nice to meet you. So could you say your name, where where you are, what country you're in, okay. and uh, and your favorite your favorite food, uh -huh. your favorite thing to eat. Okay, my name is Alex. I'm from Republic of uh, Georgia, and my favorite food, uh, I don't know, salad, perhaps. Great, good. I, I love salad, too. Okay, it's nice to meet you, Alex, from Georgia. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, uh, so the next person is, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, a, a, a Bice? No. Uh, Abika. Abika, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Could you tell us your name, where you are, and your favorite thing to eat? Um, do you have, is your microphone working? Okay, I think, I think, um, okay, so, um, we'll, so we'll have some, some people participating in the chat, which is great. Um, so, okay, great. It's nice to meet you. Um, so, we'll move on to Carlos. Can you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Carlos. I come from Spain. And uh, what else? What, what question do you, do you say? What, what? Um, what's your favorite thing to eat? What's your favorite food? Okay. Say, I come from, from the land of food, Spain. Okay. <laughs> Yes, uh, I like all the Spanish food, but especially I like, for example, paella. You? Oh, good. Okay, I love paella. That's great. Paella, okay. Awesome. Uh, okay, great. Well, it's good to have you back, Carlos. Uh, Carlos has been one of my students before. And yes. another one of my students before, Juan, are you here? Hello. Um, so could you tell us where you are right now and what your favorite food is? What's your favorite thing to eat? Yes, hello everyone. My name is Yuen. I'm from Vietnam and uh, yeah, I love foods and uh, but my favorite one is also a salad dish. It's called papaya salad. Yeah. Pa pa papaya salad? Yes. Like papaya like the fruit? Yes. Oh, exactly. yeah. That sounds awesome. I would love some papaya salad right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, great. Well, it's good to have you back as well. Um, okay, uh, is it Ju Junaid? Yes, Junaid. Junaid. Hi, everyone. My name is Junaid. I live now in United States, Arizona. Uh, the rice is my favorite food. Uh, great. And, and where are you from originally? I'm Junaid. from Iraq. Okay, awesome. Well, it's very nice to meet you as well. Thank um, you. Okay, Sa Saeed, Saeed, are you here? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, great. We can hear you. Um, yeah. Could you tell us? Could you tell us your name, where you are, and your favorite thing to eat? Yeah, my name is Saeed. I'm from Jordan. I live in the United States, in Illinois. My favorite food is called uh, Mensa. It's Jordanian food. Yeah, that's great. Okay, well, thank you. It's nice to yeah. meet you, Saeed. Nice to meet you, too, Saeed. Um, okay, so then we have, um, is it Santos or Miguel? What's your first name? Oh, um, I think your microphone is muted. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can hear you it's now. Right now, uh, my name is Santos. Uh, Miguel is my surname. Okay. Uh, I I live in Barcelona in Spain. I I am Spanish, uh, and my favorite food is uh, Spanish omelet uh, and 
and maybe all kind of sweets. That's great. Um, I, I visited Barcelona in mm -hmm. November, um, and I had a I had a say. I had it. A Spanish, and it was delicious. I really liked it. Yes. Um, okay. so. <laughs> there are many great. kinds. Yeah, yeah. This one was just like it was onion. I think like yes. onion and egg. My favorite has has onion and potatoes and and, and you can uh, use a uh, ham or cheese with two if you like to to improvise. <laughs> Great, yeah. Well, that's it was delicious. I loved it. Okay, well, welcome Santos. Welcome to class. Thank you. Okay, um Saran? Is that right? Saran? Yes. Um, hello. 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 I'm Saran I'm from Thailand. Great. Hello, can, can you hear me? Uh, yes, it's a little bit um, it's a little bit fuzzy, but I, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm from Thailand in Bangkok. Okay, great. Um, it's good to have you. Um, um, and your favorite your favorite food? My favorite food is noodle. Awesome. Good. I love noodles too. Um, okay. Awesome. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And then Yuval is our last person. So can you introduce yourself, please? Hi. Hello, Libby and uh, everyone. Uh, I'm Yuval. I'm from uh, Israel. And uh, my favorite food is uh, pizza. Okay. Yeah. What kind of pizza? Uh, I don't know how we uh, tell it in English. I think margarita is it? Uh... Yeah, yeah, margarita <laughs> pizza, like just with tomato and mozzarella. Yes, yes. And, yeah, this is awesome. the, my favorite food. Good. I love margarita pizza. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I'm so excited to have all of you here today. Uh, we are going to talk about something that I think is one of the hardest things in another language and that is talking on the phone. Um, so so I, English is obviously my first language, but I have learned French for a while. And I remember when I was 16, I went to go live in, uh, with a French family, and I had, to, I had to call my friend on the phone to ask if he was free, to ask if he was free to go uh, to a restaurant with me. But first I had to talk to his French host family. And I remember I, I was so afraid to talk in French that when the other family answered the phone in French, I just, I just hung up <laughs> because, because I think it can be very intimidating to talk on the phone because people speak very quickly and you can't see them speaking. So it's a little bit more challenging than speaking face-to-face -face in another language. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's why I chose this, this class for today. So I'm going to post in this chat box, I'm posting a link to a web page. So if you click the word chat in the top left corner of your screen, you should be able to see this link that I just posted. And if you click on it, it should open the web page on your computer. Um, can you see the link that I posted? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, so please open that link, and we're going to go onto that web page. So this web page is some vocabulary for talking on the phone, and it's from a web I really love. It's a really helpful website um, called EnglishClub.com. I love this website. And these are some really useful terms, some really useful words 
that we use to talk about calling someone on the phone. Um, so does everyone, is everyone okay? Does everyone have this web page open? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. So first of all, uh, let's talk about what kinds of, what kind of phones can you have? You can have a cell phone or a mobile phone. So this is my, my cell phone, my mobile phone. This is my phone case. It's a, uh, it's very colorful. It's actually uh, chocolate bars. It's a picture of chocolate bars. <laughs> but this, so this is my cell phone. What other kinds of phones can you have? Home Satellite phone. phone. Okay, good. So I heard someone say you can have a home phone. So yeah. your land, your landline or your home phone is just a normal phone that's in your wall. Uh, you can also have a satellite phone. So if you if you're somewhere that doesn't have uh, a cable connection or does not have phone signal, you can have a satellite phone. Good. So maybe if you're in a very remote location or very rural location, you can have a satellite phone. Um, okay. So good. I think. And what what else? Internet. Internet phone. Good. Perfect. Um, so yes, you can you can use uh, Skype or other internet yeah. applications. It's uh, called VoIP. Call it's called VoIP, voice over IP phone. Okay, cool. So VoIP, voice over IP phone, good. So for me, for me, uh, that's what I use. I use the internet to call my family um, because I'm in France and they're in America. So yes, I use the internet phone. Okay, good. Um, pay phone. Pay phone. Okay, great. So sometimes uh, if you are away from home and you want to make a quick phone call, you can use a pay phone. Um, I was just in I was just in London this weekend. Has anyone been to London? No. Yeah. Um, I, I love London, and they they have very special payphone booths. Um, these oh, red telephone red booths. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, the red one. Yeah, yeah, the red ones. So I I always I always you know I I think they're they're so cute the red telephone booths. <laughs> um, Okay, good. So yeah, so there are a bunch of different kinds of phones that we can use. Mm -hmm. um, so okay, so let's say I, I'm using my, my cell phone. Um, so I, I pick up my cell phone and I want to make a phone call. Um, so I go on and I go to this screen and I punch in what I punch in the phone number. What what is that called? I'm I'm what? What am I doing? Dial. Dial. Good. Okay, so I dial the number that I want to call. And then I calling. listen, and I, I'm calling someone. And um, what if what if the person that I'm calling is is already speaking on the phone with someone else? What you happens? Get a busy signal. Good, exactly. Good job, Alex. So so I will get a busy busy signal, which at least in the United States sounds like bam 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 yeah. bam. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of universal. It's a really ir irritating sound. Okay, so I could get yeah. a busy signal. But if I'm lucky, um, the phone will ring, and uh, the person could pick up the phone and answer the phone. Or if they don't answer the phone, what do I what do I hear if they don't answer the phone? A voice message. Exactly. So I, I go to their voicemail. I get a. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I get don't a, have I get that a, here. Good. Um, so I get to their voice message that says voicemail that says something like, thanks for, um, you know, you, you've reached Carlos. I'm, I'm not so here right now. Please call yeah, back. Yes. And then I, call. I, I am writing, uh, I am sending to the printer the, your link. Sorry. Oh. No, no, I was, I, was just, I was just using your name in an example. I was saying ah. if, I, if I tried to call you, I would hear a message that says, hello, you have reached Carlos. Please okay. call me back. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, do, you, do, do you want to me um, put an example? Yes, if you call me, if I am uh, I'm not, I'm not out. If I am out, what is the uh, the question? Oh, it's it's okay. No, I I, I, I was not asking a question. Okay, I, I understand. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I know. I, I <laughs> okay. Continue. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's say so let's say the the person does pick up the phone. Uh, so they answer, and we have a, a conversation. 
And then when they finish talking to me, we take we press end on our phone. No. What is that? What is that called? What am I doing when I end the conversation? Hanging up. Hang up. Okay. Yeah. Good. So I finish the conversation and I hang up, and I am done with the phone call. Okay. Good. So so these are some good vocabulary words that we can use. So if you would like to come back to this website later, I think it's a good resource for uh, some telephone vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to give you another link. Uh, so there's that second link. So please open this link in your browser. And I think this is more useful because this link tells you how to actually speak on the phone. It gives you some sentences that you might say if you are speaking to someone on the phone. And so we are going to go over some different ways of answering the phone and different ways of having a conversation. Because that way, if you ever speak on the phone in English, you will understand that sometimes the way that we speak on the phone is different from the way that we speak in person. Um, so do you see the, does everyone have the link, the second link that I posted? Yes. 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 Phone, introduce yourself. Yes. Okay. Good, yes, that's the one. Um, so it's the top of the page says, here are some typical phrases that you can use in a telephone conversation. So the first category says answering the phone. Mm -hmm. And these are different ways that when you pick up the phone, you can answer. So can someone please read out loud the three ways that, the three examples for answering the phone? Yes, <clears throat> me. Uh, okay, go ahead, Carlos. Okay, so I am paying attention now. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, when you answer the phone, you can say, "Hello." It's informal. Thank you for calling. Voice out of body. You're speaking. How can I help you? Uh, doctor's office. Okay. Good. Perfect. So when I answer my phone, I almost always just say "Hello." Um, so that's the very basic way to answer the phone. But if I work in a business, I might say. Hello, you've reached, uh, or hello, this is the gap, uh, Libby speaking. So if I'm an employee, I can answer that way. Oh, or if you are in, in something like a doctor's office, or maybe if uh, sometimes in business, in business settings, you would answer with a shorter thing, such as doctor's office or Libby speaking, so you can answer in a shorter way. And uh, speaking is kind of a strange word. It just means, because you think that it would be Libby is speaking, but we don't say is. We just say Libby speaking because it's sort of an abbreviation when we answer the phone. Mm -hmm. um, so does anyone, does anyone have any questions about answering the phone? I have a question, please. Um, yes, you've all. Uh, I saw in some show, Mad Men, I know it's the 60s, but uh, <laughs> does American uh, uh, family uh, can answer the phone, hello, uh, Draper family, or something like that? Yes, good question. I, y it's possible, so you could say, my, my last name is Cummings, I could say, hello, Cummings family, but it's more likely, it's kind of more formal to do that. So you, you might do it, but it's, it's more used, now it's more used for business. If you would say, hello, Goldman Sachs, or, or something, or hello, the company name. <laughs> Maybe not Goldman Sachs, but you, know, you would say the company name instead of saying, usually for families, you would just say, hello. But in the 60s, maybe they used it more. Than yes, exa exactly, yes. I think, I think in the past, it was more common to do that. Okay. Good question. Thank you. Thank any you. more que any more questions? Okay, so we'll move on to the next part. The next part says introducing yourself. So when you answer the phone, you uh, when when you answer the phone, the person will tell you who's calling, right? They want to they want to say who's calling. So, um, does someone want to read the examples for introducing yourself? Okay, I will read. Okay, Junaid. Is it Junaid? Yes. Yes. Hi, George. It's Lisa calling. This is informal. 
Hello, this is Julie Madison calling. Hi, it's Jerry from the dentist's office here. This is she speaking. And then he put note in the of the person answering saying this if the caller does not recognize their voice. Yes, so for instance, let's say my friend John is calling me and so I would answer the phone, hello? Hi, this is John. May I speak with Libby? I might say, oh, th this is she, or speaking, because he's looking, if he's looking for me, um, mm -hmm. I will say, th this mm -hmm. is she, or speaking, to indicate that, yes, that the, yes that's the, I am the person that you want to talk to. Um, All right. or, or, or let's say my friend John calls, and he wants to speak to my friend Laura. He might say, hi, I'd like to speak to Laura, or is Laura there? And I would say, yes, one moment, and go get Laura, and she would speak to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, uh, ask, and that brings us to the next part, asking to speak with someone. Who would like to read the ways that you can ask to speak with someone? I can try if you... Okay, perfect. Yes, Santos. Okay. Uh, uh, is Fred in? This is informal. Uh, is Jackson there, please? Informal too. Uh, can I talk to your sister? Informal too. May I speak with Mr. Green, please? Uh, would you like the doctor being available? Okay, being, good. I suppose it was maybe or being or available. Yeah, exactly. So you would say, would the doctor be in yeah. or okay. would the doctor be available? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so those are the different ways to ask if someone is available to speak with you. Does anyone have questions about those? Okay, uh, Libby, <clears throat> is possible to uh, uh, add uh, could instead of con to be more formal? Um, could I? No, it's, or it's not. It, it, sorry, is it, can, you, can you ask the question again? Yes, okay. Uh, when you say can, for example, can I talk with your sister? Oh. Could I talk with your sister and uh, means more um, polite or more formal with could? Uh, yes, that's, that's exactly right. You can say, could I, could I talk to your sister? That's completely, okay, a, that's, so you, that's exactly right. Could is, could is a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more polite because it's a little bit more passive, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, ex excellent point. So can I talk to your sister or could I talk to your sister, or could I please talk to your sister? Yeah, those all, those are all good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And May is even more formal. May. Yes, yes. In in America, we we don't say May very often, um, but I think in in Great Britain they do say May a little bit more often, um, but it's not very common. I would I would use May. If I was calling and speaking to the queen, <laughs> well, or or if I was calling, for instance, maybe I'm calling about a job interview, or I'm calling oh, okay. someone who's more important than I am. Uh, in that case, I would say, "May I please speak with Mr. Johnson?" And that would be yeah. right. Okay. But if I'm call if I'm calling my aunt or my uncle, you know, or my grandmother, I wouldn't say, "May I please speak to my grandfather?" It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, okay, good. Any more questions? And um, one question. Yes. Uh, if you, if you want to to ask the, this person if uh, he could to talk at this at this, at that moment. Or? Yes. Good question. Mm -hmm. How would you say it? Um, I would I would say uh, it's. It's okay. So if if it was if it's an informal conversation with a with a friend. Mm -hmm. I would say, hey, hey, do you have a minute? Or, hey, do mm -hmm. you have a minute to talk? Mm -hmm. um, if, it's, if it's a business call, so if you're calling about a, a job or something like that, mm -hmm. I would say, you often would say, is this a good time? Is this mm -hmm. a good time for you to speak with me? Mm -hmm. Is this a good time? And okay. they'll usually say, yes, yes, it's a good time. Or they'll say, no, it's not a good time. Please call me back later. Mm -hmm. Um, so, 
Yeah, and I, yeah. So do you, do you have a minute? Is this a good time? I would say also in a business call you can say, do you have a moment? For some reason, moment is more formal. I don't know why. Do you have a moment to speak with me? Would be a very nice way to ask someone if they are free. Also, when I call my friends, I usually just say, hey, are you free to talk? Are you free to talk? That's very informal. Hey, are you free to talk? Yeah. I also Great. have a question. Yes, yes, when? Yeah, for example, if I talk to my dad and um, my dad wants to talk to my mom, but she's not on the phone, so what can my dad say? So he's so he's speaking with you, but he wants to talk to your mom. Yes. Yeah, but she but she's not available. Basically, that's what you mean. Yeah, but she's not here. Like she's um like next to me, but uh, my dad has to say something in oh. order. Okay. Okay. So then you you so you're talking to your dad, and then he would say, he would just say, "Hey, can I can I speak with your mom, please, or could I speak with your mother?" Is um, it too form formal between family? When I let's see, when I call my parents, I say, if I'm on the phone with my father, I say, "Hey, dad, can I speak to mom?" Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Or can I talk to mom? Can I talk to mom, please? That's yeah. So speak is a little bit more formal. Talk is is less formal. So if I say, "Can I talk to mom?" That's a very informal way for me to ask. Uh, but if I ask, "Could I speak with my mo mother?" It would be more formal. And then yeah, and then you and then you can just say, "Yeah, sure," and just hand over the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So c could could I speak with or can I talk to? Is that's pretty much, yeah, I think that's pretty much the way you would ask. Thank you. Sure. Um, okay, any more questions before we move on? Okay, so the next question, or, or the next section is connecting someone. So, so my, my friend John calls me, and I'm on the phone, and he, he wants to talk to Laura, who's sitting next to me. So the ways that I might, so he says, hey, can I, can I speak with Laura, please? And I say, uh, I can say, just a sec, I'll get her. Uh, that's, it, that's the way I would say it. It's informal. Or hang on one second, uh, which is the same thing as hang on a sec. Sec is short for second, so it's very mm -hmm. informal. So hang on a sec, or give me a second, give me a sec. You go find the person. Or you can say, or let's say I'm working, I'm working in a business and I want to be polite. I can say, please hold on, and I'll put you through to his office. So that means I'm going to, if I'm a receptionist, I push the button that puts the call over to the office that that person's looking for. A very basic way is just to say, one moment, please. So that's also a little bit formal. So if I'm speaking with maybe a business person, partner or someone like this, I would say, oh yes, you'd like to speak to Laura? Okay, one moment please. And I go get Laura. Um, or if I'm working as a receptionist or a secretary, I can say, uh, all of our operators are busy at this time. Please hold for the next available person. And if you've ever made a phone call in English to a company, a big company, I'm sure you've heard this because I've heard that last sentence like a million times. Mm -hmm. Whenever I call like Bank of America or Amazon or Expedia, it always says, all of our operators are busy at this time. Please hold for the next available person. Yes. You know, like, blah, da, 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 and you hear that horrible music. You know that awful music they make you listen to? Yes. You listen to the music, and then it still says, all of our operators are busy. And I'm like, Argh. So, okay. So, so you recognize that sentence if you've ever made yeah. a call in English. <laughs> Okay, does anyone have questions about that section? Yes, I have one. Okay, and great. Email. You said about uh, please hold and I put you through to his office. Can you sense that the uh, please hold on and uh, transfer you? Yes, that's, exa that's exactly the same thing. You can say please hold on and I'll transfer you. That's perfect. The exact same meaning. Yeah, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Um, okay, any other questions? No. 
section. Okay, perfect. So the next section is, uh, this is a very important section. It's making special requests. So this is asking people to clarify or asking people to repeat or call you back if the connection is bad. So I think this section is really important for learning phone call words. Um, who would like to read these examples in this section? Okay. I uh, okay. Then uh, Saran. Yeah, okay, go ahead, Saran. Okay. Can you please repeat that? Would you mind spelling that for me? Could you speak a little, please? Could you speak a little slower, please? My English is very strong. Can you call me back? I think we have a bad connection. Can you please hold for a minute? I have another call. Okay, perfect. So these are all really useful expressions. I really like this. Like I said, I really like this section. Um, so if you want someone to say something again, you say, could you please repeat that? If you want them to spell out the word for you, so this is really useful if you if they're saying a name or something where you don't really know what they're saying. Sometimes when I don't know what someone's saying, I just ask them to spell it. So it seems like I understand. I just want to know how to spell it. Um, so that's really useful. Um, could you speak up a little, please? That means, could you please speak more loudly? So if you ask someone to speak up, it means you're asking them to speak more loudly. And uh, can you speak a little slower, please? My English isn't very strong. Uh, you can also say my English isn't very good. Same thing. So that's very useful. Um, and then can you call me back? I think we have a bad connection. So if you, maybe you're on your cell phone and you have bad signal or something, so you just say, can you call me back? Or could I call you back? Um, I have a bad connection. And um, also, yeah, this, is, this one, can you please hold for a minute? I have another call. That's, you should only put someone on hold if maybe they're your family or your friend. So if you're, obviously, if you have an important call, you would not put them on hold. Um, is but this maybe, rude? Like interview for a job. Yeah, is exactly. Is considered so, rude? Uh, so it, it depends. Uh, good, it's a really good question. Um, I would only put someone on hold if they're my my parents, maybe. So maybe if I'm on the phone with my mother and I I get a call about a, about a job, or I get a call from a coworker or from my boss, I would say, "Hey, mom, can I put you on hold for a second? My boss is calling me." Mm. That would be okay. Um, but obviously, if you're if you're, for instance, having a phone interview on the phone, it's not appropriate to say, hey, can I put you on hold for a minute? Um, it's generally rude to put people on hold unless you have a very important call or a very brief call coming through. So, Excuse um, me, I have a question. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, I read before two days in one book for learning English, they said don't use can because it's not polite. Use could or would. So now I, I, I saw you, you use can three times, maybe four times. Yes, that's a really, that's a really good question. So that's, that's good advice in a, in a book. I think as a rule, it's important to use could because it's important to be more, you know, to err on the side of being polite. Um, but I think, I think it's, it's becoming more common to use can just as a modern uh, trend. But I, I, I would agree that if you're, if you're in doubt, if you're not sure, it's better to use could or would, should. Those condition, they're, they're called conditional words. If you use conditional words, it's considered more polite. So I think that I use can a lot because uh, I went to, I went to a school on the West Coast in California. And in California, things are a little bit more informal. Uh, California is sort of like the land of Google and Facebook and Twitter and all of those sort of new companies. And so in that kind of, an, uh, kind of a business environment, it's less formal. 
So right. I, I agree. Yeah. Definitely, definitely to be more polite, it is a good idea to use could. Yes. Okay. But if you use could in, in, in a place like California, wouldn't it uh, seem like too formal? Wouldn't it be like um, seem uh, archaic or Really good question, Alex. Um, yeah. No, no, not it, it would be totally fine. It oh, would be okay. totally fine. May is a little bit formal. So if you use may I in California, it might be a little bit strange. But using could is still completely fine. Uh, it would not seem it would not seem too formal. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any more questions? Okay. Uh, good. So the next the next section is talking about if if you uh, need to take a message for someone. So if my friend John calls, he wants to talk to Laura, and Laura is not here. These are the ways that I can explain to John that Laura is not around. So can someone read these for me? Okay, let me read. Um. Yes, you can tell him his wife called, please. No, that's okay. I'll call back later. Yes, it's James from Comp Incorporated here. Uh, no, I think you, you must read. Read. You must read. Take in the a office. message. You are you is leaving a message. Taking a message for someone. The 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 last before. Oh, Sam I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think I think we got all all mixed up there. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll start over. Okay, yeah, sorry, Alex, go ahead. Uh, Sam is not in. Who's this? This is informal. Um, I'm sorry, Liz is not here at the moment. Can I ask who's calling? I'm afraid he stepped out. Would you like to leave a message? He's on lunch right now. Who's calling, please? He's busy right now. Can you call again later? I'll let him know you called. I'll make sure she gets the message. Okay, good. So these are all great ways to take a message for someone who's not there. Uh, my, what I would say is instead of saying he's on lunch right now, I would say he's at lunch right now. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe in Great Britain they say on lunch, but in America we just say at lunch. And yeah, these are all really yeah, these are all great. Does anyone have? Uh, does anyone want clarifications about any of these? Does anyone have questions about these? No. Good. Um, so then, so then, um, I I tell John that I'll I'll take a message. Okay. Yeah. Um, Laura's not here. So, uh, do you do you want to leave? You know, do you want to leave her a message, or do you want me to tell her anything? And uh, so he can leave a message with me. And can, does someone want to read the ways that you can leave a message? Can someone read these examples, please? Me. Uh, okay, R Raushan. Yes. Okay, great. Would you like to do? Do you have the the link open? Would you like to read the examples? Yes. Yes, I opened. Okay, great. So we're reading the examples for leaving a message with someone. Could you read these for us? Okay. Yes. Can you tell him his wife called, please? No, that's okay. I'll call back later. Yes, it's James from uh, comping, comping here. When do you expect her back in the office? Thanks. Could you ask him to call Brain when he gets in? Do you have a pen handy? I don't think he has my number. Thanks. My number is two 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 three four five six extension two a uh, one two. Okay, good. Thank you. So, yeah. So maybe maybe you just want to tell someone you called. Maybe you want to call back later, or maybe you want to leave your number. So these are all different ways that you can leave your name and your number and tell someone that you called. Okay, so John John says, "Okay, Libby, just just can you just tell Laura I called, or could could you just tell Laura I called if he wants to be polite?" 
And then I can say, to confirm, um, I can tell him, okay, uh, I'll make sure to let her know that you, you called. Um, some other ways that I can confirm, these are in the section confirming information. I can say, if, if someone gives me a message, I can say, okay, I've got it all down. That means, okay, I wrote down the message. Uh, I can say, let me repeat that just to make sure. So maybe if, if someone gives me a phone number, I can repeat it back to them. Did you say 555 Charles Street? So I can confirm what they asked, what they told me. Or you said your name was John, right? Just to make sure the per you have the person's name correctly. And you can also say, I'll make sure he gets the message. So that's the most common one. I usually say, I'll be sure to let her know that you called. Or I'll make sure she gets your message. Those are very common. OK, I have a question. Uh, yes, Jenny. I, I read when, when you leave your number, like I said, my number is, I must repeat my number two times at least. Yes, I think, I think that's a good idea, especially on an answering machine. I usually say my number twice. Yeah, I usually say it two times. OK, thank you. Um, sometimes also before I, before I give someone my number, if I'm talking on the phone, I will ask them, do you have a pen? Hey, OK, I'll give you my number. Do you have a pen? And so they, they'll say, mm -hmm. yes, OK, I, ha I have a pen. And then, then I will say the number slowly. So then, then I would probably only say it once. OK. And uh, what is a generally accepted way to spell numbers, telephone numbers? Is it that's, digit that's by a digit? Really, yeah, that's a really good question. In, in the United States, we have 10 digit phone numbers. So it's usually three digits, three digits, four digits. So let's see, I, to say my, yeah, we usually just say the digits individually. Oh, okay. So 518-243-8456 or something. Um, that's not my phone number. Don't worry, I didn't just give you guys my phone number. I made one up. <laughs> and you also leave the, the area, area code in the, in the message, for example, 212-1234-56. Yes, good question, Yuval. Yes, um, sometimes, so I'm from, I'm from a very small state in the United States, and we only have one area code. Um, so sometimes you'll see only the seven-digit numbers and with no area code. But for instance, in California, you would always give the area code because there are so many different area codes in California. So um, for those of you who don't know, the area code is the first three digits of an American phone number. Uh, that's the area code, and then there's the seven digit, the rest, the other seven digits of the number. And one more question: Do you have a different area code for a cell phone? Uh, really good question. Mm, it depends where you buy the cell phone. So, for instance, my cell phone is the same area code as my home phone, back back in the United States. But maybe uh, if you live. In, in California, if you live in San Francisco, but you buy your cell phone in San Jose, you'll have a different area code for your cell phone. So mm -hmm. it, depends where, it depends where you buy it, but, but there's not specifically a different area code for cell phones. So you can't, you can't tell whether a phone is a cell phone by the area code. Mm -hmm. uh, Libby, one question. Uh, can you repeat again when you say the numbers of a telephone number? For example, you have reached one number. What did you say? Two, 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 uh, um, line six, seven, eight, nine. Can you repeat again? Yes, yes. So usually, that's right. Usually we just say each digit individually. So we say five, 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 six, 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 seven, seven, eight, eight. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What I didn't say before that's also important is sometimes, this is specific, sometimes the last four digits if you're, sometimes people will say those as two two digit numbers. Oh, so if it's, if it's 8456, sometimes I might say 8456. Um, okay. But that's, that's, sort of a, that's sort of a conversational thing. And uh, usually you would just say the numbers. But if you hear someone say 555666 8456, 
that's just saying eight, four, five, six. Does that make so sense? It's yeah. not necessary to yeah. say the. Um, Okay, I don't know the, the the symbol. The symbol to separate two numbers is not necessary to say. Exactly. That's that's exactly right. Okay. So so okay. we use a we use a dash or yeah a dash to separate yes. the yes. digits. You don't need to say that when you say the. Okay, it it was my question. Thank you. Yes. Okay. okay, I have another question. Yes. Uh, when I repeat my, my number, if there is zero, I said zero or I said O. Oh. Because sometimes I hear from the people they say it's 0047, not 0047. Yes, I I say O. I say O instead of zero. Uh, same mm. thing with postal codes, like zip codes. I would say O. Um, but sometimes on the phone, when I want to be clear, I'll say zero. So it depends. But it's it's like cool to say O, like 207, 503. That's how people usually say it, but if I'm leaving a message and I want to make sure it's very clear, I might say 207 instead of 207. But yes, okay, good, okay. good, good point. If you, yeah, to be to be cool, you can say oh instead of zero. Okay, uh, another <laughs> question. Uh, it's 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 more formal to say zero. So, for instance, if I'm calling and I want a job interview, I would I would say zero when I leave my number. But it's not it's not bad to say oh it's still okay. Uh, o oh, oh is still okay in, in a formal situation. Okay, another uh, question. Yes, uh, Jane. Uh, yeah, yeah. When when I can uh, I want uh, when I talk with someone and I want him to repeat the sentence, I said excuse me or can you repeat or I said pardon me, can you repeat? Which is better? I good question. Both both are fine. Both are fine. I would say excuse me, but again, I think in Great Britain they say pardon me more often, so it depends. But uh, excuse me, could you repeat that? Is great. Pardon me. Yeah, excuse me, I think is a little bit better. Yeah, excuse okay. me is a little bit better. Okay, thank you. And uh, how do you uh, leave your number if you're from a different country? How do you say um, the full international number? There is a code of country, code of city, and then telephone number. How do you make it clear so they understand you? I mean. Great question. So if it's someone who's, who's used to dialing international numbers, so if it's someone who knows how to dial an international number, then I would say, please call me back. The country code for France is 33, and then my French number is 779802987. Um, so you could say that, but I would say if it's someone who's not used to dialing international numbers, I would say my number is plus plus three three because that the the this when you put this before yeah. uh, international numbers we call that a plus it's a plus sign so I would say please call me back right now I am at a French number my number here in France is plus three three eight five seven eight so yeah you can say plus or you could specify my country code is. But I would just tell them how to dial it on a phone. So please dial plus three three seven eight and just tell them the number. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, it's, and it's they, hard to know. Then they they can figure it out. I mean, they can real understand that this is international number and the first numbers are country code. Yeah. So I think just specify. Yes, my number is um, a number in Georgia. The country code for Georgia is plus blah blah blah. So please dial this number plus oh, okay, okay. three three blah blah. Yeah, I think just just specify that it's international. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, any other questions before we keep going? Um, okay, so let's see. Um, there are some examples of how to listen to an answering machine and how to leave a message on an answering machine. Um, so you can read those on your own, and then for now we'll just read the last part, finishing a conversation. Can someone please read the examples for finishing a conversation? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
You go, Carlos. Yeah, go ahead, Carlos. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, to finishing a conversation. Okay, uh, well, I guess I better get going. Talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. Bye for now. I have to let you go now. I have another call coming through. I better run. I'm afraid that's my other line. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Okay, great. So we often, so the standard way to end a telephone conversation is just to say bye. Um, we don't, you can say goodbye on the telephone, but more often we just say, okay, thank you, bye. And that's, that's acceptable. Um, so usually if I'm on a business call, I say thank you for taking the time to speak with me or thank you for speaking with me um, or thank you for your time or something like this and then uh, thank you for your time I hope to hear from you soon bye or you can say goodbye on a business call too goodbye is more formal <laughs> and then I yeah I just say I usually when with my friends I say okay talk to you later bye That's Okay, um, Libby, is it possible um, to say, like in a letter or an email, uh, I look forward to hearing you again, or is it not properly in a conversation, in phone? Uh, great question. So yes, in, in a letter, it's ex in, a, in a letter or, or an email, it's always a good idea to end the email with, I look forward to hearing from you. Yeah. You would, it's not as common to say this in a telephone conversation, um, because it's kind of long. But you can say it. It's totally acceptable. Let's say you have a, a phone interview or something. I would say, thank you so, yeah, in, in a phone interview, I would say, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, have, a, have a great day or something. OK. Um, or usually, I would say, sometimes people might tell you, we'll be in touch. That's a really good vocabulary word. So if they say, we'll be in touch, that means we will contact you soon. Um, so you might say, um, you might, you might say I'll, I'll stay in touch if you want to indicate that you might contact them with more information or more questions. So anything, yeah, anything goes as long as you don't talk for too long. It's not usual, but it could be. Yes, exactly. It's not typical. Usually you would just say, thank you for your time. Bye. Um, but you can you can say I look forward to hearing from you. Okay. I I have a question. Please. Okay, um, uh, does American in a non-formal way can you say for friends to end the uh, conversation? Uh, okay. Bye bye. Two times bye. Good question. Mm. Uh, so usually uh, no. That's usually for uh, like for children. So sometimes children will say bye bye. And it's kind of a, uh, it's, it's for little kids. But, um, because, yeah, I know in a lot of other cultures, for instance, in German, they say, uh, tschüss, tschüss, they'll say bye twice. But uh, we don't usually do that in English. We would say, uh, to, to, when I'm talking to my friends, I usually say something like, I might just say, see ya. All right, see ya. That means, like, kind of like, see you later. Um, if I'm on the phone, I'll say, all right, cool, see ya, and hang up. Um, or some guys say, like, peace, all right, peace, and they hang up. I, I would never say, I, I, would not recommend, I would not recommend saying peace when you end phone calls. <laughs> oh, see you later, alligator, in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could, you could say that. Sometimes people in the South, in America, say, um, bye now, bye now, and they hang up, which means, like, Good, it means goodbye for now, mm. but they'll say bye now, uh, which I, I, I find funny because I'm not from the South. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. okay, so we are going to end class for now unless there are any last minute questions. Does anyone have a quick question or anything? Okay. It's okay. okay. Um, so I think we'll, I'll probably teach another class about phone stuff in the future because there's more content that I um, have to share with you guys, but 
for now, this website is really helpful, and there's a quiz at the end if you want to test your own knowledge. And okay. um, I'm teaching a class in two minutes okay. about idioms. So if you want to come back and see me, I will I will be on Verbling for the next hour as well. Um, okay. Thank you all so much for coming. I really appreciate your participation, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever in the world you are. Okay, thank goodbye. You. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.